It's been almost a year since I met uh, Glyn and his art friends and it's always good to catch up with them and an awful lot's happened during the last year through injuries and art sales and the way things are moving is very good for them. So invest in art. Hello, Glyn. <laughs> Glyn, you've not been very well either, so how are yeah. you? Um, the leg's recovering. Yeah, so yeah. what was wrong with the leg? Um, I fractured the fibula and I've d d damaged all the li ligaments in the ankle. Um, that was what, five and a half was months. Was that a ligament of your imagination? Chris, that's bad. <laughs> sorry, that's sorry. really bad. Sorry, so how did you damage your, your ankle then? Um, I was just helping someone in the garden and lost my footing. Um, came down and flipped it round. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, landed on the side and flipped it round. So okay. hence boots, not flip flops. So I was wearing boots. At so the time. you couldn't get any surfing in for a while either, could you? No, no, no. Five months without getting in the water. I did put a message on your Facebook saying that your surfboard was enormous. Yes, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. It's a, <laughs> it's a long board. It's a long board. Sorry, I must yes, get it right. Yes, yeah. yeah. it's a long board. Yeah. Yes. You I say tomato. I say tomato. Right. So, what, how's your art doing? Okay. Um, I finished a piece yesterday, um, which is linked up to Deacon being poorly. Yeah. Because what was wrong with Deacon? Um, well, because we hadn't. There we go. This is this has been it's gorgeous, isn't it? Titled Deacon's Bay. Yeah. Um, like the Deacon Blue at the top. This is really bad puns today. <laughs> this is really bad. Sorry. That's all right. Um, well, what happened was I finally managed to get the Land Rover started up. Yeah, because um, that's been I'd, standing for quite a while with your injury. It's been standing for over four months. Yeah, crikey. Uh, and I finally started it up. And um, he got overexcited. Yeah. He, it's like his second home, his yeah. kennel, you know. Uh -huh. um, and that was on a Thursday, um, and then from then till the Monday, he kept on leaving. In fact, I, if I could show you discreetly, so he doesn't see it, this. I see. Yeah. His, his. I, I will have to spell the word. B e a c h. Yeah. B a c h toy. Yes. And he kept leaving it by the front door. It's uh -huh. a very unsubtle hint. Then it got to the Monday, and. I finally took him down to this spot, which is his favourite place. Um, and he got... The idea was he would have a little bit of a play and then settle down like he's now in the shade by my chair yeah. while I started this painting. Unfortunately, he wouldn't settle and he got over, over excited to the point that as we were leaving, I was only there for a couple of hours or so, um, on the way back he actually collapsed. Um, and he started fitting. Yeah. And I managed to get him back to the landy. Um, absolutely amazing what you can do when adrenaline kicks in. Uh, carrying all this clobber and him up a steep hill. Uh, got and you're still suffering from your injury as and well. And suffering from, yeah, I didn't do that any favours, I must admit, but hey. Um, and everyone was concerned about him on Facebook. Oh, that was it. I mean, he was rushed to, I rushed to the veterinary hospital. Yeah. Um, and you can see, they had drip in him, they had heart monitor, he was on oxygen, you name it. Um, and I just put a little post going, Deacon's in hospital. Deacon, and he, Deacon, 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 where's Chris? Good, got that. No, and um, it, it all went a bit crazy. Yeah, for 24 um, hours at least. And uh, Short people, attention span of networking. Well, no, no, it carried on. <coughs> oh, oh, hello, here's Jeff. <coughs> no, no. <coughs> Yeah, yes, that's your friend. Let's just finish this conversation. Okay. Um, and uh, people were offering to help with the vet's bills and all sorts of things. So yeah. checked into the legalities and we set up a raffle. Um, and uh, first prize, one of my large prints. Second yeah. prize, one of my small prints. Third prize, a set of postcards. And everyone who entered into it, which this is about to go into print, yeah. will get... I'm going to do a limited edition postcard as well as the normal postcard, and everyone that enters is going to get a limited edition postcard. So something creative came out of the uh, the experience. Yeah. Well, until I knew it was all right, I couldn't even look at this painting. Yeah. But now it's it's now completed. So. So when will it be going to print? Um, I'll probably take it to the printers tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And what's this other piece you? You're this on? is another piece. This is um, uh, memories of the Mimram which is uh, a little river up in Hertfordshire, and this is where I grew up. Is this commission? No, it's not no, commission. No, no, this is, this is just, this is um, 
It's my childhood, uh -huh. where I used to go tadpoling and, you know, yeah. so, and I went to, back up to Hertfordshire a couple of years ago. Yeah. I think it, I think it was. Um, so it's got a tremendous amount of emotional And this is one it. of the spots that hadn't <coughs> changed. Yeah. And um, so I'm, I'm just finishing this piece off as well. And you just had an experience with Spanish television yesterday as well. Yes. They tried to get me to speak in Spanish. <laughs> I'm not very good with languages. Uh -huh. So what was that all about? Anyway? Um, it's, uh, um, I've, I've put a, a link on my Facebook, um, my art page, yeah. I think, um, or I'm about to, but it was um, a Spanish TV crew over filming, um, they were actually filming mm. uh, another friend, Mariana. Yeah. Um, and I, from what I can work out, they're like a, a culture show that's been running for 10 years and they were filming myself and a few of the other crew from the art fair and the gallery. Yeah. Um, a part of, you know, doing a documentary on um, part of Plymouth and the art scene. Uh -huh. So very honoured to so be included in, in that. So that's going out on Spanish television in about a month's time? Yeah, in about a month's time, yeah. Um, I haven't a clue what it's going to be like. Or well, what uh, what city is it going in? Is it going national in Spain? I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. But as I find out more, uh -huh. then I will put um, Deacon. It's all right. There's more people arriving. Um, uh, I, I will put links up on, on my art page. And there's going to be a three day festival in Plymouth as well, isn't there? Yes, starting this Friday. Uh -huh. um, the Plymouth. 25th, 26th, 27th. Yeah, um, the art weekender. That's um, going to be across the city. Right across the city, um, all sorts of different events, and again, the colonnade will be taking place on all three days, uh -huh. and the gallery will be open on the, all those three days as well. At its and normal times. At its at its normal times. Yeah. Will the underpass be open as well if the weather's fine? The underpass. The uh, the colonnade. The colonnade will be happening. Yeah, yes. I'm to think yeah, of a name. yeah. Yeah. The colonnade will be happening. Um, uh, Actually, we decided almost irrespective of weather, but from what I can see, the forecast is very good. Yeah. So all systems are going? Yeah, and I'll be busy painting like I am now outside. I think the technical term is on plein air. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's um, Newland School. I don't know. The saying comes from the Newland School from the 1930s. The, oh, the does it? The oh, right. I, did, I didn't actually know that. The artists of plein air. They were based in, uh, in Cornwall around Falmouth. Oh, right. And uh, they used to go down to the Mediterranean to learn to use the uh, Mediterranean blues, and then they'd bring them back to the UK. Um, well, they became very famous in the, in the 1930s, uh, 40s. Well, I've learned something today. Right, thanks very much. Nice OK, to nice to see you, Chris. Nice to see you. Yeah. Why? 
You can contact Glenn and the famous Deacon through Facebook at Glenn White. Invest in art.